All right, hey everybody. Um, so today I've been fishing with, I'm fishing with the Martin, or the Martin Automatic Model 8A, a fly fishing reel. I thought this would be great with the glass rod, streamers, and uh, whatnot. So I'm giving it a go. I have weighted line. Um, I think it's about 18, 15, 18 feet. Uh, fast sinking tip, and then the running line loading. I'm not casting out far. I'm not looking more than 30, 40 feet. This overhang and bank today. But uh, we're using the Martin automatic uh, fly fishing reel, model 8A today. My new reel, giving it a go around, and uh, I'm finishing off. So the whole idea of the reel is you take out a working stretch of line, the books is here, so I gotta be careful. And so say you're gonna be working with 40 feet, get my 40 feet of line out, or you just slowly fish up to where you're gonna fish. There's a tension release down here. So now I have my working line and that's what I'm doing. Um, anything big takes it, um, a tension does create, but if it was action was fast, furious, or in the middle of a play, um, you can keep that tension off. So, you, you'd be able to, the line's coming out, but it's not creating tension. So you can actually play bigger fish. Uh, with an automatic reel. Um, It's an automatic fishing reel, and basically it has a spring, a lever to release that spring, and uh, another lever to release tension on the spring. So I'm going to talk about what it does and uh, the significance of it. But so I'm going to get a little more line out, not that much, and there's a lot of branches here. Release the tension. And the reel it is spring loaded, so just, if I want to bring my line in that I've been working with, I just tighten the reel or turn the spring. So it's like a clock. It creates winding up a clock, creates that tension, and I can zip up my line once I get it away from these branches. And now I am ready to move. So it's pretty neat. I like that. And it's just a trigger release, another release here. And it's just a regular spring you load with. You grabbed that when I was fussing around. Whoa. Hey, he caught me off guard. cleaning my glasses. <laughs> Fast. I was cleaning my glasses off. <laughs> the fly was in the water. And today I'm, I'm primarily using 
clouds and minnows, about size 6'4", and uh, this is about a size 6. I'm using green, yellows, uh, black, purple, and I tried a couple other colors, but uh, the green, yellow, and the black, purple seems to be doing it. I'm getting dark now, so I'm working with the black, purple a bit more, but got even distribution, some are long shank. I'm really liking the shorter shank clouser right now and uh, that's a size six but I think it's more of a size four so it's just a perfect size hook it's a real strong thick hook or hold the biggest fish but that's what we're using I'm gonna take a few casts over here by the bank and uh, we'll talk close in not far uh, we'll talk about the reel the Martin 8A automatic fly fishing reel. Uh, I think you can. I think you can. Up until I think March. 15th Ooh, he, he's lucky to get him in actually oh there it is on the edge Real quick, um, if you're working with these, if you use them in salt water, you will have to disassemble and clean the reel if you submerge it. I would suggest it. Fresh water, you'll be fine. It's rather easy. This one just has a clip here, and that whole top piece that holds the spring comes right off. Spool comes out. A couple clock gears, planetary gears in there that ratchet up that spring rinse it out and uh, probably be taking this out on the salt too uh, loving it one thing you have to be careful of is if you crank it up I'm leaving now and you zip that line in and you really crank it that line's going to zip inside that reel and your tip is going to go under and it's going to be a pain getting it out you might have to open the reel not fun to do stream side so something to look out for the convenience of this reel is you can zip it up and get going quickly um, rather than reeling your line. I hand play the fish all the time. So I got to put on a pretty stout. I think I got 10 pound on top of 15 pound. So we can pretty much so pull out any fish that's going to take. I don't think we'll be getting any 10 pound bass. fish or a bird. Today, worked with the Martin Automatic 8A uh, fly fishing reel. And uh, definitely loving it. Probably may be my go-to freshwater streamer reel. I'm actually finishing out 
in this deep hole here. I'm going to fish in the left, right of the bank. I mean, maybe we'll pull out a bass because the black clouds are. But I want to talk about the something's over there. The Martin uh, 8A automatic fly fishing reel. And what I'm doing right now is basically I just get my working line out. Yeah, I probably don't want more than a rod length of line. That might even be too much. I get my line out and I am going to release the tension. And I can keep that released if I'm expecting big fish, but I think I'm just going to bear down, hold that line tight. Um, and that's about it. Um, when I pick up the line, I'll show you when I get going. I'm just going to take a few casts here. Um, I don't hang up before I get out. Here, uh, big giant bass right now would be grand. Had a few more casts, but uh, really great reel. I'm um, just trying it out. First trip out on the water. I'm liking the Martin automatic reel, and I will definitely, certainly be using it a bit more. And uh, just an introduction to it, and uh, hopefully, I'll get more into it in future videos. Basically, the convenience is you're getting ready to go, you're moving. You just load that spring. At the time, you'll learn how many cranks and how many feet of line you pick up. You just load that spring, hit the lever, and if you have a lot of tension, that's going to really zip in quick. But and guess what? Holy smoke! That was a fish. <laughs> he liked that fast retrieve. But that's the idea. That was wild. Maybe we'll get him. I'm going to take a couple more casts. I'm getting out of here. That would have been... There was a fish. He actually went after that. All right, I'm going to give this another go. <laughs> I can see my line down there. Let me just hit that lever. Well, maybe we'll get another take. That was wild. I didn't expect that. Oh, that wasn't a little pickle, that was a big pickle. <laughs> I'm getting out of here after this guy. Is wild. Okay, have a good afternoon, night, day, evening, wherever you are. And I'm out of here. Like in the reel. But maybe I'll um, take a few casts, but I'm getting out of here. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you like the reel. Please like, dislike, comment, subscribe to the channel or not. And uh, remember always, fish away. Great afternoon, night, day, evening, wherever you are.